everybody, it's Kristen. So I have a few things to share with you today. Um, today is, what is today, Saturday, and I just got done making a whole lot of cookies, um, which is a whole long story. But anyway, so I thought I would take a little break, and <clears throat> excuse me, this morning I worked out with my trainer, and then I went and got a facial. So if my face looks a little bit redder than normal, I don't have foundation on. I mean, I have some blush and bronzer, but I thought, whenever I get a facial, I feel like it's a bad idea to throw foundation on right after so anyway if my skin doesn't look as you know even as it normally does that would be why okay so I have a few things that I want to share with you guys today um, the first thing is my julep box and I actually I un I cut it but I didn't actually open it so we'll we shall see and I am this is the julep maven program for those of you that don't know it's a you know, it's another one of those monthly things where this one I think is $29.95 and you get a few things that's different every month. I am the American Beauty. And, you know, I know you get... <laughs> I really got to figure this out, let me tell you. I know that you get an email telling you what your colors are going to be, but I think I must delete those emails before I actually get them or before I actually read them. I have a tendency to do a lot of deleting on my phone before I actually look at it on a computer. And I guess you can actually look at the colors and do what they call like a shelf pull and get different colors or something. I don't really understand it. But anyway, so it's what it looks like on the inside. And ugh, confetti everywhere. Okay, so the first thing on there is a little emery board, which is good. I actually need a new one. Take the little ribbon off. And on here it says... Well, on the back of the card, it just tells you what's in there. And then on the bottom, it has a Jane's Beauty tip. Not sure who Jane is. I probably should know that, but I don't. Um, it says, I love the Julep Elixir Organic Moroccan Argan Oil. Use it to moisturize and edge shine to hair strengthen and condition nails and cuticles. Smooth and hydrate dry rough heels. It even works as a great facial moisturizer for all skin types because it soaks right in and leaves no oily residue. Pop it in your purse for any time shine and you'll sparkle and glow from head to toe. I always have a hard time understanding how one product can do so many things like that. So it's in like a purple bag thing. So let's open up what that elixir. I'm sure that's what this is. Holy moly. My house smells like cookies right now. It's pure torture. <laughs> Has a little dropper. And this is the elixir. Of course, I'm going to smell it. I'll tell you what I think. I've used the Josie Mirren Argan Oil, and I like that. I don't love it, but I like it. I like it smells the lotion I put on my hands. Hmm. I can't really detect a smell, which is probably a good thing. And I have oil all over myself. Let's just rub that into my super dry hands, shall we? Okay, <clears throat> and then there's two polishes this month. I'm gonna grab my scissors. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, okay, so the first one is looks like a. Um, I actually saw, I think I saw Heidi's must be video, and I thought, ooh, those colors look like Kristen colors. So this is Kelly, and it's a very light, milky, white pink kind of color. So I'm gonna try that. And. This one, it's, you know what? This is called Emma. Like, geez. It kind of looks like this, well, it's more cool, purpley kind of, with some shimmer. So, yeah, both of those are colors that I will wear. So, that's good. I don't, I, I don't dislike Julep. But I also don't love don't love it only because I mean I have tons of nail polish 
a, look, I don't have time to make up to, but you know. And um, I don't know, it's, I mean, it is $29.95. As I said last month, I think I'm gonna order the glycolic hand scrub and get the discount on it. And then I will probably cancel, but I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, so. Let, let, let's have a little Neiman Marcus rant, shall we? I'll keep it to a minimum, but um, I went on Neiman Marcus's website because I wanted the week of my birthday to order a couple things from Tom Ford that I really wanted to try. Um, and I got, you know, I ordered from them one other time when I ordered the Corinthian eyeshadow. And that time they sent me a little email saying, there's a problem with your order, you need to call us. So I called them and he said, the first time you order from them, you know, you just have to basically to prove that you are who you are, and then they'll send you your order, which I thought, well, whatever. I've had that before with Chanel, so, okay, fine. So, um, that order came fine. Then this time, I got the same email, and I was like, seriously? And, and I just was too busy, quite frankly, to deal with it at the time. And, you know, a couple days later, then I got another email from them saying that my order was processed, and then a few days later that it was shipped. So I got an email telling me nothing was going to happen because I needed to call them, and then it happened. It shipped anyway. I, I don't know. But anyway, when I did get it, and it was during their beauty bag sale, and their beauty bag is way different from the Barney's one. It's not, you don't, it's just a, little, a few sample things, and it's free, and it's nothing, whatever. Anyway, so um, when it came, there was only one of the two things in it that I ordered, no explanation, nothing. So I actually went, went into the online chat and for, well, first I checked my email and it did, when I checked the email that it had shipped, it did say that only the one product had shipped, but there was no email telling me when the other one was. And in the, I checked the confirming, like when it's going to ship and it said it would ship three, seven. Um, so I thought, well, I'm just going to check. So I did the online chat and she said, oh, it's actually going to ship, um, April something. I don't even know. And I was like, you know what? I was just frustrated and annoyed and I just canceled it. And I'll just, somewhere down the line, I'll fit. and that was a quad. So I'm really kind of bummed about that because of the two things. I think I really wanted that more, but at any rate. So what I did pick up was a blush in frantic pink. And it comes in this beautiful brown suede-like bag. And then the blush just looks like that. That. And back. It's kind of glary. Can you see all the snow we got in the past few days? Ridiculous. And then um, opens like this. Little thing out. And this is the beautiful color. Really pretty. I haven't, I've only swatched it. I haven't worn it because I like to show you guys first. Just kind of a baby doll pink. This is a heavy swatch. I don't want to make sure you guys, whoops. Make sure you guys can see it. It's really, really pretty. And it has a sheen to it, but not a glitter, nothing I would be worried about. So that is my Tom Ford purchase and my Neiman Marcus rant. And the gal even on the online chat wasn't very helpful and ugh, just frustrating. I would rather give my money to some place that's, that's a little more customer service. Anyway. So the beauty bag that came with it is looks like this. And um, in it, and this is just your basic kind of cheap kind of plasticky, you know. And there is a molten brown bath and shower gel. There's a Tom Ford um, Eau de Parfume. A Kiehl's the line eraser with 10.5% vitamin C, powerful strength line reducing concentrate. It's like that. Or like that if you'd like to actually be able to read it. <laughs> um, a clay de peau. I 
have no idea. Some sort of a experience, the difference in le, le cotton. A blend of refined cotton fibers wrapped in a layer of silk. I don't know exactly what it is. And it does say on the bottom too, bring the sample to the clay de peau Bute counter to discover its benefits with our new skincare line and enjoy a complimentary facial service. Yeah, it's cotton. <laughs> I don't know. A bunch of little things here. Um, a Kate Somerville Clinic to go resurfacing peel pad. And then um, Fakai Ageless Rejuvenating Shampoo and Conditioner Sample. Okay. And then, oh, and there's another little perfume in here. A dozen roses? I have no idea. Okay. Can you tell I just was not impressed with any of that? Okay, now, something that I am impressed with and very excited about. One of my subscribers, and her name is Janabelle, she sent me a message and said that, and I won't, I, I'm not going to share too much of her story because it's her, not my story to share, but she said, you know, something she likes to do to keep herself busy is, is make some jewelry and she wanted to um, send me something. And she actually is a Wisconsin girl too. And I, I said, well, sure, absolutely, but I'd like to pay for it. And she would have none of it and um, said, nope, she just wanted to do it. And I said, okay. Then, awesome. So um, I gave my address, and I get in this, the mail this huge box. I'm like, what could be in this box? And this was this bag full of stuff that she sent me. Not only the beautiful jewelry that she made, but a whole bunch of other things. So I'm gonna share. I asked her if it was okay to share with you guys, and it is. So I'll kind of go through it, you know, pretty quickly. But the first thing she sent me is this. Check this out. It looks kind of like a snake. So see how it kind of takes the form. But you would you wear it as a yeah you know, as a bracelet like that. It's really cool. I like that it's not perfect and it, it will take a little shape and move around and I really like it. And this she she actually didn't make, but she um, what she said I didn't make the sneaky one. Um, you can wear it as a brace as a necklace or a bracelet. It's from Let Twist. She said L E T W I S T. Very cool. And then she sent me this, these two, or these three, excuse me, that, that she made. And this, she, um, it just reminds me of my birthstone, which is an amethyst. It's a really pretty um, purple and, well, you guys can see, I don't need to tell you what the colors are. And I love, love, love this. this the, these are all magnetic, so you don't have to, like, fumble around. I love that. And it's the perfect length for me. I'll show you. See? I get it caught in my hair. So yeah, I love this. Well, I love all of them. <laughs> More so because um, even if I didn't like, I love how they look and I love how they wear, but even if I didn't, I would just because um, she made them and thought of me and I was really touched by that. Okay, and this is another one. This is um, like a gunmetal kind of color with a little clear bead. I love this, just real simple. So it's kind of like an invisible thing. What do they call that, floating? Floating necklace? So it looks like that. Isn't that pretty? I'm close enough for you guys to see. I just love that, gorgeous. And then this one, also, that both of those, all three of these have the magnet, which is just awesome. I would love to make all of my necklaces into that. So this is a clear with some white beads, and this can be long necklace, like that. You could double it up, or she said she would wear this as a bracelet, too. Like that, and I like that a lot. So it was really, really cool. Janabelle, you spoiled me, and I didn't even get to the other stuff yet. Okay. So she sent me this bag full of goodies. <laughs> and the first thing she sent me is um, a number seven total renewal microderm, microderm abrasion. 
And she said Mac used to make an exfoliator that she loved, and they took it away, which is another way with Mac. And um, this, she said, is very close to that. So I'm excited to give that a shot. And um, <laughs> she said she saw these at the checkout and picked them up, which cracks me up because that's so something I would do, Janabelle. And this is a daily makeup brush cleaner. And then this one is the uh, makeup brush shampoo. This is the Sephora brand. And I've not tried either one of those, so I'm excited to try that out. She had these all packaged up so that if something happened, it didn't make a mess. She's a thinker. And then these two, she, she uses these and has backup and trial sizes of them. And this is the, I think it's Ola, Ola Henriksen. This is, and I use the serum from this. This is a sheer transformation. Um, it's so teeny tiny for all skin type age defense. And then this one is the Invigorating Night Gel. I'm excited to try those out. And report back. This is so funny. You know, I'm forever complaining about how dry everything on me is. <laughs> So she sent me, um, this is from Soap and Glory, and one is a heel genius and one is hand food. And she stuck a little note on here that said that the that this smells like Misty or Sherry to her. Ooh, totally does. <laughs> wow. And, um, and she sent me one for my purse and one for, for my vanity. She put a little note on there. And then she also sent me some of these aloe infused socks which I'm excited about that I'm trying that tonight I've had the stuff for about a week and I've been trying to hold out to do the video first before I tried it and then like I said the heel genius and it's, you know I get saying I'm excited but you know um, and then she sent me um, her favorite lip balm which is um, the color Riche balm from L'Oreal that not a scary color at all it looks like it's really dark but it's a ball so it's not and if I can get it back on here and I this is so funny I wanted to try this um, foundation but you know I'm on my no buy <laughs> so she sent me one of these and she had a little note on it that said she hoped it didn't explode and it didn't and this is the dream foam in porcelain ivory so I will try that out and report back. She sent me um, the eyeshadow from MAC and Blank Type. And you guys know I like my brulee, so I'm going to try this one out and see if it's even better. Then she also sent me um, a correcting primer. Um, and she said on here, she said it was so pretty on fair skin, fair skinned Wisconsin folk. And this is, it's the Telk Free Minimal, Mineral Wear. Um, and sun care, and I haven't tried that, so try that out. And I love these EOS lip balms, and she's probably heard me say that. And this is the one in oops, strawberry sorbet, and I don't think I have this flavor, so it's going in my purse. And this is a beauty sponge, and this one is from London Soho, New York. And I have only, and look at the shape, isn't that cool? I've only tried um, the Sony Kashuk one, so I'm excited to give this a shot. And then this is so funny. <laughs> she sent me, um, and she put on here, what a weird thing to give to somebody. It's cranberry chews. And I've not tried them yet. Um, but it's, they're chock full of antioxidants, and I know that it's really, they're really, really good for you. Um, so I am actually... I'm probably going to love these. I want to have them all the time, and then I won't be able to find them. I'm going to have to ask her where she got them from. And then she sent me um, four things from, four foundations from Sheer Cover. Um, and let me make sure that I have her note. She said none of these um, look like a match or were a match for her because she's pretty white, she said. So this one is in Buff. And I've not tried this foundation. I've tried Bare Minerals, but I've not tried Sheer Cover. And this one is in Latte. So probably a combination of these will be nice. 
Hello. And this one is bronzing tan, so it'll be a nice bronzer. Hope you guys can see that. And then bisque. Isn't it crazy how much stuff she put in here? Holy moly. And then um, the other thing she sent to me, this is a good thing she put it in a bag because, let me wipe this off. And this, the, I've only ever heard of Youngblood Cosmetics from, um, I've never seen them anywhere or been able to try them. Um, but Lisa, um, SEO9 was trialing some for her wedding. That's the only time I've ever heard of it. This is another mineral foundation in Barely Beige. And the cover looks like that. And then and the other one is in, I'm just trying to wipe it off, just says neutral. So that is what she sent me. Janabelle, you were out of control generous. And there's gonna be a little package coming your way. Um, so I just wanted to share you guys, share that with you guys, and particularly the jewelry. And she said she doesn't sell her jewelry yet, but she's thinking about it. And I told her if she did, she should absolutely let me know, and I would let you guys know because um, these things are just gorgeous. I just, I'm, I'm overwhelmed and humbled that um, that she would think of 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 me with make and made something for me. So um, okay, I hope that you guys are having a good weekend. I'm gonna try to get this up. Um, Hopefully, I don't know, sometime this week or, or next week. We, we shall see. Um, and I will talk to you very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Would it be a Christian video if I didn't pop back on or something? I forgot. Okay. I did want to show you quickly. Um, I ordered, I don't know if you guys watch, uh, The Jewels 123. Stacy is her name, and I'll, I'll put her link below. Um, she was... I guess, she, I, from what I understand, she used to have a, a store or a boutique where she sold some jewelry, and she had some jewelry to sell, so she kind of has a little eBay store set up right now. Anyway, when I went on there to look, there was, I, I've always kind of wanted, um, I have a few bracelets, but I don't have very many wrap bracelets. One of the reasons I was so excited to get um, this one is that I could wear it as a bracelet as well as a um, necklace. Um, so anyway, Stacy had on her site, um, a few, you know, bracelet, wrap bracelet sort of things. So the one that I really liked was this black, I'm gonna put it on for you, is this black and silver. Actually, I should first show you. It came in this cute little pink box, and it had this cute little pink bow on it, which I should have showed you before I took it off, but I was so, I really wanted to see it. But it was super cute like that. And then the wrap bracelet was tied up with this little ribbon. It was very cute. And the company on on the little clasp says Bindi USA. I'm not sure if that's who it's made by or not. But this is what it looks like. It's just silver and black. And I thought this would be real fun for, you know, when I'm going out or even like a casual Friday or whatever at work. I really, I like that. And what's cool about this, if I can show you, is that there are a couple of different places where you could, so if you wanted to, tighten it up a little bit, you can go up and put it in between those two knots. Do you see what I'm saying? Again, I'm asking you questions you can't answer. But anyway, so I just wanted to, sh to share that with you guys. And now I'm really done. And like I said, I'm going to put Stacy's channel below and um, you can check out her channel to see if there's any, um, she, on her videos where she talks about it, she has the link for the stuff that she's selling or whatever. But she, uh, she also is um, really fun to watch and she loves makeup like we do. So I'm going to stick her link below. Okay, I'm done. Talk to you soon. Bye.